Grandma Noodle here at the Real Questions, Real Answers Laboratory, where we noodle out the Word of God and science. Last week, we learned a little about polar bears. Today, we're going to go to the other end of the world, to the Antarctic. There are no bears there. In fact, there aren't many types of animals that live in Antarctica. Skuas, petrels, and other seabirds, seals, and penguins are the only animals that live on the land in Antarctica. And only one type of penguin can live there all year round. That's the emperor penguin. The emperor penguin is the largest of all the penguins and it gets to be about four feet tall and can weigh up to 100 pounds. That's as big as some of you. It is black with a white tummy and orangish yellow at the top of his chest and his ear patches. They have black eyes and an orangish stripe right along the beak of their nose. They also have three little black toes on each foot. There are about a quarter million pairs of emperor penguins. In the winter, which is May and June, the penguins walk 30 to 75 miles inland to where the females lay one egg. After she lays the egg and transfers it to the father penguin, the mother returns to the ocean to feed. The father then balances that egg on his feet and covers it with a little pouch. He stands there for more than two months protecting that little egg. If it falls off his feet and touches the ground, the egg will quickly freeze. All of the fathers will huddle together to try and stay warm in the Antarctic blast. All the eggs will hatch in about 60 to 75 days. The babies are called chicks at this point, and they look like cute, cuddly bundles of fluff. They are covered from their neck clear to the ground in fluffy down feathers that help them keep warm. They can't swim yet because they don't have the right type of feathers for swimming. When the chicks hatch out, the mothers have just returned from their feeding. They regurgitate fish to feed their babies. Blah. And the fathers go to the ocean to feed. They really need to since they have not eaten anything for almost four entire months. Then after he has eaten, the father returns and the parents will take turns watching their little chick. Soon, the chicks will join a group of chicks called a crush. There, all the adults will take turns watching over the youngsters. The adults need to be vigilant to keep the babies safe from seabirds. Those seabirds would love to eat those babies. By December or January, the chicks have grown and are called fledglings. They begin to lose their baby feathers and the adult feathers have grown in. Fledglings are now old enough to take care of themselves. Did you know that God designed the penguin to grow? If they stayed chicks forever, they couldn't swim and then they wouldn't be able to go and get food for themselves. In the same way, God has designed humans to grow. Of course, we need to eat lots of good food and get lots of exercise and sleep well for our bodies to grow bigger and stronger so that we can take care of our physical selves. But we also need to grow spiritually. We need to feed on God's word by reading our Bible daily. We need to exercise faith and rest on God's promises and his unfailing love. Would you like to know some more interesting facts about penguins? There are 18 species of penguins. Most eat fish and krill. One type of penguin has blue feathers, the little blue or the fairy penguin. Don't you just love blue? Some species lay two eggs a year. There are several species that are crested. That means they look like they're having a really bad feather day. Penguins are flightless birds. While other birds have wings for flying, the penguins have adapted feathers that help them swim in the water. Most bird bones are hollow to keep their bodies light enough for flying. However, the penguin's bones are solid. 
Most penguins live in the southern hemisphere. The Galapagos penguin is the only penguin species that ventures north of the equator in the wild. Large penguin populations can be found in countries such as New Zealand, Australia, Chile, Argentina, South Africa. Penguins can drink seawater. Penguins spend around half their time in water and the other half in land. Can you drink seawater? I know I can't. Emperor penguins are the champion divers of all birds. They can stay underwater for nearly half an hour. I hope you enjoyed learning about penguins, and I hope you take to heart how you can grow spiritually by reading the Bible each day. Now you be sure and invite your friends to watch Grandma Noodle with you. Bye-bye.